Are you really happy in life? I mean, really, really happy. Or is it time to completely do some shifts and spice things up? David Essel here. You know, we talk about this all the time, especially with my counseling clients. They'll say, oh, God, David, you know, I go on to Instagram. I go on to Facebook. I see all these women are just so happy. They're in amazing relationships. They're, they have incredible bodies. There's not a line on their face. And it goes on and on and on and on and on, right? And... I said, you know, the number one killer of happiness is comparison to others. And she looks at me and she said, oh my God. And I do it every day. I said, I know a lot of us do. Women have a really hard time with this in regards to physical appearance, weight, all that kind of stuff. Men have a hard time as well, not living up to their potential when they see other men, you know, with Maseratis in front of them and all that kind of stuff. Who knows if it's true or false or fake? I don't care if you have a hundred thousand Maseratis or you live in a shack. It doesn't matter to me. You're a human being. And if you're a good human being, I want to be a friend of yours, right? But are you really happy? You know, can you get up in the morning and say, you know, I'm in a good mood most days. Of course, there's going to be days that we don't feel like that we're in our best mood. But are you really happy? Or is it time to spice things up? I'll tell you a personal story, you know, in the uh, late 90s or mid 90s about, I guess it was. Um, I was really bored with my intimate life. And I was with a partner back then. And we, she was very open-minded. And we had great communication skills. My God, probably the best of anyone I was ever with. Uh, it didn't obviously work out. But our communication skills were great. And I remember one day saying to her, hey, listen, everything about our, our relationship is awesome, but I, I just want something different in, in the bedroom. You know, I want our intimacy to be different. I want it to be a more erotic. I couldn't think of another word, you know, and and I've told this story on, on another uh, podcast a couple years ago. And I remember her looking at me and going, oh, my God, I am so glad to hear this. I, I, I'm, I'm okay in our, with our bedroom stuff, but I was getting kind of bored too. So here we had, you know, this, we, neither of us were at the level of intimacy we wanted to be. We had been together a number of years. I'm not going to say it was boring. It just wasn't exciting anymore, you know? So we weren't at our happiest. And then we shifted and we went online and we started looking at alternative lifestyles. God, I even wrote a book, 50 Flavors of Erotic Love. And that book was starting in the, in the late 90s because that's when I was introduced to erotica and all these different healthy things that you can do. You know, not beating people and all that kind of stuff, you know. And if you're an s &M, that's fine. Um, but that, I'm, I'm not going to judge you at all, but that just isn't for me. So we found our way into this really beautiful erotic life. And then we saw this level of happiness go through the roof. Now, what about in your career? You know, are you super happy in your career? If not, you know, another story I'll tell you. I worked on radio for, oh God, for 35 years. And I remember a guy calling and we were talking about, you know, that this is the time if you're not happy to be happy. And he kept saying, David, I don't know what you're talking about. No one in America is listening to you. We don't have a choice to be happy. I have to work at this job. I hate the job, but I've got three kids and I can't stand my work. And every day you're saying, get up, be happy. How do you be happy when you hate your job? So I let him vent and vent and vent and vent. And then I asked him a couple questions about hobbies. He had none. And I said, well, you know, if you're going to a job that you can't stand, but you come home to something that you just absolutely love, that's going to raise your level of happiness, right? And he paused and said, yes. And I said, what is it that you would do if you could do anything as a hobby? He said, well, I'm an expert craftsman with wood. I said, what does that mean? He said, well, years ago, I used to make cabinets and, and really nice furniture. And I made quite a, bit, quite a bit of money. But then the market slowed down and I had to take this full-time job with three kids. And I said, well, why don't you do it at night? And there was this long pause. And he said, oh, my God. I didn't hear from him for three to four months. And all of a sudden I got a call back on the radio show and he said, you're not gonna believe the difference it's made in my life. I still have to go to that crap job during the day, but I come home and I have dinner and I speak with my kids and we do some kind of a board game. And then I'm downstairs and I'm doing my woodworking. I'm selling pieces slowly, the business is coming back. See, we have to ask ourselves, is it time to spice things up? Is it time to do something different? Is it time to redo your resume and start looking for another job? Is it time to either really jump full force into trying to save your relationship that may be struggling right now? Or is it time just to bail? Just to say, hey, we tried, it didn't work. That can bring a level of happiness. That can spice things up, right? So I want you to really think. We have 24 hours in a day. We have to work so many hours and we have to sleep so many hours, but but then what else are we doing to bring happiness in? Are we around people who are happy? If we're not, we need to change the people we're with. 
Are we watching things that make us happy, listening to things that make us happy? What are we reading? Things that make us happy. See, happiness is an inside job. We all know that. This purpose of this video is to get you thinking. Most of us are not happy at all. Most of us might be 50% of the level of happiness we could have. We have to change, of course. And if you need help, reach out to me. My God, we have specials right now. Some of our programs are 50% off because of inflation. There's four books on the website that we give away for free to try to get people to level up their lives and to get a higher level of human consciousness. Buzzsprout.com is the, is the podcast. Go there, Google David Essel, thousands of freaking hours. Go to talkdavid.com. That's where you get the four free books, tons of videos for free. And you can work with me on a discounted rate from anywhere in the world. I want you happy. I know I can get you there. Let's do the work together, okay? I've had to do the work too, and I'm still doing it. And it's still working. Until we talk again, I'm David Essel. Have a beautiful day. And be happy.